Have you ever struggled trying to create the best glass material in Unreal Engine and still haven't gotten the result that you might like? Well, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a glass that you envision. A realistic one and one that is not looking like plastic as this one is. So stay with me and I'll teach you how to do that. But first I just want to point out that I also have a gaming channel Cool. Whoa. That wasn't there before. What is that? I'm preparing if the apocalypse is gonna come. So if some of you are interested in that, make sure to to, to check it out. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box. So let's begin. I have this prop that it's in the starter content, but you can see the glass is looking awful and not realistic at all. So let's create a new material and name it glass. Double click to open it and then just let's just set the let's make the proper settings for the glass. We need to set the blend mode to translucent because glass is not opaque. The shading model is gonna remain as it is and we're gonna check this box for two-sided. Then we're gonna go down into the translucency tab and the lighting mode we're gonna change it to surface forward shading. After this is done, we can start working on the material. So hold 3 on the keyboard and just tap on the screen to create a constant with color and plug it into the base color. Double click and set the let it to the saturation to 0 and just set the white or black value to 0 0.05. I found that that is a quite a good balance of black and white and it just makes the glass very realistic. Then hold one and just tap on the screen to create a few constants. So we're gonna set this one to parameter and call it color. This one we're gonna convert it and name it specular. We're gonna set the value of 1 and we're gonna plug it into the specular uh, node. Yeah. I found that if you set it to 10 or 100 or 1000 it just doesn't make any difference in path tracing so I'm just gonna stick to 1. The second one is gonna be the roughness and the value is gonna be 0.01 because no glass is fully glossy, so it needs to have a bit of roughness. The third one is gonna be the opacity. This one will have a value of 0 0.0... I said 0 0.05, yeah. <laughs> and just plug it into the opacity one, and the last one is gonna be the refraction. And this one is 1.52 because that's the index of refraction of glass. So we're good to go. Click the save button and... Okay, so let's apply it on our, to our object. Now you can see it did something, but it still doesn't look pretty nice. So what you wanna do is go into the post-process volume and search for translu... Oh my god, what am I typing? Translucency. And here, you're gonna check this box and switch it from raster to ray tracing. Because look at this, look at the difference. I mean, raster, ray tracing, it gives much more details and it's easier to work with. And this is in path tracing. In path tracing, I don't know if it affects it, but it's better to leave it on. Now, a quick note if you will probably want to make a colored glass, then just go back to the color tab and I don't know, I'm gonna set mine to a red and I'm just gonna 
set the opacity to 0 0.2 maybe. And it depends on what you want to go for. And you can see it changes the material. Even if I'm path chasing, but the the value it's, is too low to show up. So I'm just going to set it to 0 0.05, put to 0.5. And now it's more pronounced. But for me, I don't really use colored glass, so I don't really care about that, but it's good to know. I'm just gonna set it back to normal, and now I'm gonna delete this. And here I prepared a little scene. Let me just move these plants in a better position. So it's just a room with a few glass panes, which I'm going to apply the glass material to. And what you can notice is that I wanted to show you a difference between types of glasses in ArchViz. So a lot of BIM, probably all of them, BIM software, just export windows that have a glass like this, just a big chunky pane of glass. But in reality, it's just uh, more like this, like two or three thinner panes of glass. And I'm telling you, this makes quite a big difference and uh, it looks more realistic and I always use it like that. So I'm just gonna go here and just turn on the... I put this plan so you can see what I'm... What I want to show you now when I when you work on glass it's it's good to have a reference photo so you can guide yourself with uh, this was mine and you can see that um, the reflections are somehow multiplied if you know what I mean it's not just one reflection of uh, the background so that's the effect that we're trying to get from this and you can already see the difference between the two types of glasses. I mean this on the left is okay but this on the right looks way more realistic and more it looks natural and uh, and the, re the final result is closer to the reference photo than the one on the left but this is a good a good example as well. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying that I always use this this type of glass in my projects. Now, another tip that I wanted to show you is maybe you want to... A lot of times you probably don't want this very clean glass, so you might want to add some surface imperfections to it so, to make it look more realistic. So. I downloaded this map from the Quixel Megascans uh, bridge and it's a surface imperfection map it's, it comes in a roughneck structure and I just double clicked it when I imported it and uh, tweaked a few settings because at first it was like this but this grey if you're applying it to a glass then it's gonna make it look uh, it's gonna make it like frosted or something like that. It's not gonna be very clean. So I just set this value to 5, the curve, so it has much more contrast. And then I saved it and only the the markings are showing. So yeah. Now how do you apply it to the glass material? Let me just show you. You need to come here and then you want to click right click this and search for texture coordinate and you want to get this after that hold s on the keyboard or just search for uh, scalar parameter it's the same thing but 
I'm just gonna. It's easier if you just hold S and tap on the screen. I'm telling you. So I'm just gonna rename it to scale. Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I don't want to. God. Yeah, <laughs> this is much appropriate. And we need to right click and click on multiply because we need a multiply map. Just gonna drag the first one into the A and the second one into the B. And then this. Oh, sorry, forgot that we needed to drag our roughness map into here. And we're gonna plug the RGB node into the roughness and then this one into the UV tab so we can check the so we can change the UV because otherwise we can to adjust how the dirt is positioned if you know what I mean we need to click on scale and the default value is set to 0 so we need to set it to 1 I mean 1 is the the default value like of the map I mean and if we set it to 10 it's gonna make the map smaller and if we set it to like 0.5 it's gonna make it bigger so I'm just gonna leave it 0.5 and see how it looks and now I don't know if you can see those but there are little markings on the glass but I like them to be bigger so I'm gonna set the value to 0.2 maybe yeah and now the details are bigger but maybe I want them even more let me just check the path tracing one. but you can add whatever map you want it's up to you or you can leave it clear if you want it's no it's just a subtle difference okay and you can get some of this but you again you, you need to adjust it to fit your needs this is probably I mean it's because of the Sun because it reflects it reflects the light and that's why it's so obvious but again you need to tweak the settings and yeah and that's it so this was the tutorial I hope you guys liked it and found it useful and if you did make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna post um, a few more Unreal Engine tutorials in the, the next days or weeks and um, let me know if you have any questions in down below in the description box and uh, please give me suggestions of what you want to see what you want to learn and all that you know thank you for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye